Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. This is going to be the first in a video series on the IC7100 that's going to be similar to what we've been doing on the IC7300, where we are going to go through the radio, through all the functions from A to Z, and try to cover everything that it can do. You might be wondering why I'm standing out here on a cold and damp day next to my truck to start this series. Well, the reason is because my 7100, at least for right now, is mounted in my truck. Let's have a look. Well, this is my current setup in the vehicle right now. I've got the IC7100 over here on the right, and right now it's just set up as an HF station. This was at one time, let's see here, sorry, got distracted, there's somebody on 40 meters. So we'll turn that down just a bit, but I've got this set up just as an HF station right now. When I first installed it in my vehicle, I actually was using it as my only rig for 2 meters and 440. I've got a 2730 in here at the moment for VHF and UHF because I was doing a little bit of work a couple of years ago where I really needed to have a dual band for some public events that I was working on. I think probably for this video, and because I really don't need two rigs in here now, I'm going to switch this back over and use it for my VHF and UHF rig as well especially since it'll be difficult to demonstrate some of the VHF and UHF features without that. So let's go take a look at the manuals. Before we get into the manuals, I just want to comment that the 7100 makes a great mobile rig. The fact that the control head is remote from the radio makes it seem like ICOM designed this radio specifically for mobile use. The large display and very large digits make it really easy to read at a quick glance. One of the reasons that I switched from my previous all-band mobile rig was specifically because the tiny display was getting a little too difficult for my aging eyes to read. I also find that the angled display is a little easier to read and use than a conventional straight-on vertical display. All right, let's take a look at the manuals. Yes, that's plural. The 7100 has two manuals. The basic manual, shown here on the left, comes with the radio. The advanced instructions on the right are on the CD that comes with the rig, or you can download them from the ICOM website. ICOM started splitting the manuals into basic and advanced versions with their more recent higher-end radios. The 7610 and the 9700 both have separate basic and advanced manuals. I believe the 7100 was the first radio where ICOM split the manual into two versions. The 7100 certainly is not a high-end HF rig like the 7600, excuse me, the 7610. I assume the reason that ICOM gave it an advanced manual is because it's got 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and D-star functionality in addition to all the HF capabilities. Let's take a look at each manual. The basic manual is 96 pages and 7 sections, so it's quite a bit more than just a quick reference guide. This is the paper manual that comes in the box with the radio. Of course, you can download the PDF version onto your laptop or tablet as well, just to have it handy. The advanced instruction manual is 21 sections and 379 pages. So it may take quite a few videos in this series to get through everything. One additional feature of the advanced manual PDF is that words are highlighted in yellow throughout the manual. If you hover over the yellow words with your mouse, a definition of the term that's highlighted pops up. I suppose this is a nice feature, but most of the highlighted words are terms that you really should know if you have an amateur license. I've gone through both manuals, and it looks like almost the entire basic manual is duplicated within the advanced manual. 
After Section 3, Basic Operation, the Advanced Manual has additional sections in between the ones that come over from the Basic Manual. In the sections that are duplicated, each section in the Advanced Manual is longer with additional details that aren't covered in the Basic Manual. In places where the Basic Manual does skimp on details, it does include a note with the letters AI and then a little additional text indicating which section or sections in the advanced manual cover the additional information. The bottom line is that if you have the advanced manual with you, there's no need to have the basic manual also. Curiously, the basic manual contains section 7 installation notes that is not duplicated anywhere in the advanced manual. This is a one-page section, actually two, counting the contents page, with some basic information and tables for RF radiation safety. Why ICOM didn't include these two extra pages in the advanced manual is very puzzling. Next time, we'll dive in and start playing with all those features and functions. If you have an IC7300, or if you've been following my IC7300 from A to Z series, you're going to find that many of the touchscreen operations and menu functions on the 7100 are very similar. So if you do have a 7300 and you're considering an all-band mobile rig, you would find that the 7100 is a very easy transition. That's it for the introduction. If you found this video useful or enjoyable, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're finding the whole channel useful, please consider clicking on that subscribe button. And then you can also click on the little bell icon to get alerted when new videos come out. As always, Thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.